Hi everyone. To start off with, we want to start with room temperature water. And make sure it's room temperature because I made a mistake one time and it was too cold and didn't work out very well. I'm going to be using, to start off with, um, some nail polish that I bought at Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and show you what happened when I used this nail polish. It didn't work and I ended up going out and buying some different nail polish that I wanted to show you anyway. You also will need some Q-tips that I just showed and you'll need some regular toothpicks. And then I have some rubbing alcohol that I use to clean the glasses off. And then your glasses, I bought those at um, Goodwill. I bought a large set and a small little juice set. And I think I got those for like 69 cents each. But you want to take some rubbing alcohol, put it on a paper towel or a napkin. And I like to get mine really wet. It dries really fast. Um, so I like to put a lot on there. And then just clean your glasses off to get any um, fingerprint residue and stuff like that. Make sure it's nice and clean. I did this to both of the glasses. And then um, I just take it and take it back on through the way. I shift the nail polish up really well. And if you see my hands moving, it's because I'm doing a dev over after I made the video. This is my very first video, so forgive me for all the errors that are going to be happening in this video. But hopefully as time goes on, they'll get better. So I opened up the nail polish, and this is my very first time trying this. I poured the nail polish in, and it looks as if it's going to work. It comes out kind of slow. The nail polish was kind of thick. Um, it smears out and it looks as if, you know, okay, this is going to turn out really nice. So I keep going. My kitchen is black, teal, and red. So um, I wasn't actually too happy with the end product, um, even when I got the right nail polish, because the red kind of turns pink. So my glasses have um, black tone from them versus black tone red. But I still like the overall um, end product. It came out really nice. Then you go and you're supposed to swirl around um, the nail polish back and forth in different designs. And you take a toothpick and you want to gently move the nail polish because you don't want to get a lot of bubbles in it. And I should have known by looking at this that it was sticking, you know, together, not smoothing. Um, but like I said, this is my first time, so I thought, okay. It's going to work. It's going to come out really nice. And I have my hand like that because I was going to twirl the glass in. So I was going to start at one area and kind of twirl it. And I did. That's exactly what I did here. Um, but as you can see, this nail polish just was not working. It was not having it at all. And my um, water was room temperature. So I don't recommend getting the Dollar Tree nail polish, but if you happen to find some that works for you, that's great, but this just did not work for me. I'm just not happy. <laughs> so I cleaned out everything, got new water, made sure it was room temperature water, and I ran out and bought some Sally Hansen nail polish. That stuff there from Dollar Tree, I threw away. Did not use. 
went out and got the Sally Hansen. Um, I bought it at Walgreens. It was a uh, dollar, dollar nine, I think, for each each bottle. It was on sale. I think regular price is like a little over two dollars. But you can see here, as soon as I pour it in, look how beautiful that does. It spreads out very nicely. Um, I have to say, I love the way the glasses came out overall. Can you do the same the next color? And that breathing that you hear, it's not me, it's my dog. She's extremely noisy. She snores like my husband. And she breathes really heavy. <laughs> okay. This one you go. And then you want to smooth it out. And see how this smooths so much better? It is like just blending beautifully. I really like the way this came out. And you'll see as soon as this first one is done. Okay, now instead of doing that twisting motion that I was going to do, um, I decided not to do that and do a different motion. So I went in at an angle though, went to find a nice little pretty spot, and I dipped it down, and came back up. And it is so pretty! I love the way these glasses came out. I really do. It's so pretty. Even though it's pink and not red, I still like it. So I set that aside and I'm going to speed up my video here real quick and just go ahead and do the rest of my classes. Okay, after doing my glasses last night, I let them sit outside and um, dry overnight, and then here they are. They are so beautiful. I absolutely love them. Um, to, for my workspace today, I have a Lazy Susan here that I'm using. It helps when I'm putting the clear coat on. Um, it's just It just makes things easier for me because I can rotate the paint back and forth and also do the Lazy Susan, and it just gives it a really nice, smooth, even coat all throughout. I am outside, and it is kind of windy out here, so you hear the wind blowing in the background, and you may hear some cars driving by. So I apologize for that. But I do all of my painting outside. So here's my first glass that I'm going to show you how to do. And let's see. I use the crystal clear enamel, the um, Rust-Oleum, and you want to go in a smooth um, back and forth motion, and then turn the lazy Susan at the same time, and make sure your can is shaping up really well. Okay. And you want to give it a nice, even coat. And you want to make sure you don't stay in one spot too long because you will get a pool of paint there and it'll ruin your whole glass. 
and just take things nice and slow and keep it in a moving motion. Now I actually put three coats on mine. I let them sit overnight and then I did another coat. And then I let that coat sit maybe, I don't know, two or three hours. And then I went back and did another coat over the top. But once again, I am going to speed up my video so you can see how I do the rest of the black. To take this one off, I split it to the edge to grab the the lip of the glass and then set it aside. Okay, here's the end product. I love these glasses. I think they're absolutely beautiful. If you like this tutorial and would like to see more, please subscribe below. Thank you so much for watching.